our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. What day is today? It's Thursday, I think. Tomorrow is Friday. It's going to be the weekend. We're busy on weekdays, but we'll have a good rest at the weekend. We'll meet again in a few days. Hey, Dora, what kind of books do you like to read? I read everything I can get my hands on, but I like love stories best. What do you think about the love stories? I hate to tell you this, but they are nothing but sob stories. I don't think so. I like them. Then what's your favorite book? I'm fond of history books. Oh, the history books are dull to me. Would you come to spend the weekend with us? Oh, I'm afraid I can't. I've had a date already. That's too bad. Maybe some other time. Have you seen the new James Bond movie? Oh, yes. You? Yes. What did you think of it? I thought it was better than the others. I really liked it. What did you think of it? Yes, I liked it, too. It was exciting, but not over the top. Do you know what I mean? Hmm, that's what I thought, too. I really liked the car chase, and the opening credit sequence was very exciting. And I always enjoy watching Pierce Brosnan. Oh, yes, he's brilliant. Did you like the title song? Not as much as last time, actually. What's the name of the American actor who was in the supporting role? Hum, Edward Norton, or something like that. Did you like him? Yes, he was excellent. They worked well together, don't you think? I don't know. I think the woman was better. She provided a good love interest. Lucky James Bond. Yes. We can't wait any longer. I'm terribly sorry to be so late. I had an article. You'll knock yourself out the way you've worked. Why don't you slow down? I can't afford to. All right. Now that everybody's here, shall we be getting started? Miss Lin, are you ready? Yes, thanks. Before I start. I'd like to thank Professor Smith for all his help in giving me unlimited access to his research materials. Excuse me, Miss Lin. Would you mind speaking up, please? I can't hear you very well. Sorry, I'll try to speak louder. Bob, your eyes look bloodshot. Did you not sleep well? I had a drop too much last night. I attended a banquet given by a Chinese colleague of mine. And it was startling for me to find that people are forced to drink against their will on a Chinese table. You have it right. Alcohol is a medium for communicating emotion in China. Drinking with business partners or would-be friends is a way of solidifying friendship, especially in northern China. I just felt embarrassed if I refused to drink when people toasted to me. But if I keep gulping down one cup after another, I'm afraid I would feel unfit or sick. You lose face by refusing to drink, and the host might think you refuse to give him face. The right thing to do seems to be drinking yourself into incoherence until you throw up. This will endear you. A few guys even threw a drunken fit last night, crying hoarsely and bawling whole heaps of nonsense that I never understood. Then he must be opening his heart to the friends. 
In a word, as long as you demonstrate a readiness to drink more in spite of already suffering extreme discomfort, no one will jeer at you. I got you. Next time, I'll preface a toast with a statement like, I can't drink any more, and then drink anyway. Have you received your towel test results yet? Yes, I did. I passed. Congratulations. I knew you could do it. Well, I certainly couldn't have done it without your help. You are the best tutor I've ever had. Thank you, but it was your hard work that did it. You deserve credit, too. I've learned so much from you. Li Lei, can you tell me what the origin of Easter is? The Bible says that Jesus Christ was resurrected three days after he was crucified. People commemorate that at a festival called Easter. Oh, then when do you celebrate Easter? We celebrate it on the first Sunday after a full moon on or after the 21st of March. How do you celebrate it? We make a lot of Easter eggs and then paint some designs on them. We'll also go to church and pray. That sounds interesting. We're having a 60s party next week. Do you want to come? What is a 60s party? You come dressed in anything from the 60s. That sounds like fun. But where can I get clothes that old? Check out your mom's closet. I'll bet she still has something. Good idea. Can I bring some music from that period too? That will be great. Do you have LPs or CDs? Don't tell me you have a record player. I'm going over to the gym. I want to do some running. Why don't you run outside? Are you kidding? Do you know how cold it is today? Yeah, I suppose. I guess it isn't healthy to run in this weather. No, it's not. Not at all. I'd probably freeze my lungs. Wait for me a minute. I'll go over to the gym too. You? Yes, why not? Just let me get my gym clothes together. I didn't know you could exercise. What do you mean by that? Everyone can exercise. Yeah, I know. But you? I always thought you were only good at lifting beer bottles to your mouth. No, not at all. I was on the swimming team in high school. And I'd like to do some weight training. They have decent equipment at that gym. You're going to lift weights? Ha! Huh. Are you laughing at me? I'm sorry. I just can't imagine you lifting weights. Maybe not. But I want to start. I need to get in shape. I feel these past couple months that my energy is low. It's true. If a person doesn't exercise, they get sluggish. That's why I keep running. Even in the winter. So I need to do something too. But lifting weights isn't the best thing. You should do some kind of aerobic exercise. I know. But I want to start today with a little weight lifting. Then I'm going to buy a new swimming suit and goggles. And every other day I'm going to go swim laps in the pool. How does that sound? It sounds like a good plan to me. I'm still I mean. What? I'm still just surprised you really want to do it. It doesn't seem to go with your character. So you're going picnicking? Yeah, I'm going with Jenny. Have a good day. Thank you.
and lots of Dear Abby sob stories. Hey, I learn a lot from the psychologists who give advice in those columns. No wonder you're such a wacko. Whatever smell. Perfume samples. Nice. Hey, I like the layout of this page. You mean, you like the pictures of the beautiful models, hello? Jill, how do you like your new job? I like it, but how did you know about my new job? I wanted to surprise you. I just heard through the grapevine something about you landing a job with some travel agency downtown. You can still fill me in on tile details. Well, two weeks ago I got a tip about a possible job opening at Ace Travel Agency over on Franklin Avenue. Sure. I think I know the place. Well, anyway, I made a beeline over to their office had an interview with the manager, and was told to start work the next day. That's really great, Jill. So, what do you do there exactly? Right now I'm basically just a secretary, but if I'm given the chance, I want to become a travel agent there. Don't tell me you're already bucking for a promotion. No, of course not. I've got a lot to learn yet. In the meantime, I just want to be a good secretary and not step on anyone's toes. Well, I wish you luck. John seems to be in high cotton. He may well become a big shot. I bet my button dollar that he won't. He is no more than a nine days wonder. What is your idea? Many people like him get a flying start but soon disappear. Jenny, I want to go on a picnic. Could you come too? I'd be glad to. I love picnicking. Then, put on your casual clothes and pack some food and beverages. Can I bring my camera with me? Sure. Bring enough films, please. I sure will. Aren't you Jim Green? Yes, that's right. I believe we met at a concert last year. I'm Taylor. Oh, yes, I remember. Is there anything worth watching on another channel? I think there's a western on. Do you mind if we watch it? I'd really like to see it. Well, I really wanted to see the football game. Football game? Okay. And you know what comes on next? I believe there's a sitcom. Are you interested in watching it? Let me look in the TV guide first. Oh, I am sorry. What's on channel 2 at 10 p.m.? If I remember correctly, it's a quiz show. Do you want to watch it? Let's watch it together. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.